Uh, Jacob, tough one tonight for the boys, but certainly there's some positives to take out of that game, but that second half, probably not the best one we've seen. No, it was definitely good to get a hit out with the boys for the first time. We haven't trained together yet, but solid effort, and we'll come back together full group next week. I was going to say, good, good contributions by you, and then good to see some of the youngsters stepping up and getting some court time and knocking down some shots as well too, so that's got to be a positive in itself. No, it was good for them. They came in, worked their asses off up the floor, didn't matter who they were defending, got up, made some good shots. Next week we have a home double header, obviously at Creek Road and then Sorrell. What do we need to do to regroup and try and bounce back with a win? I get a few good training sessions in this week, regroup, have a good scout, come prepared. And uh, mate, uh, we, we haven't had a chance to talk to you because you've been busy with the jack jumpers, obviously. Just to quickly switch hats here for a second. How uh, happy are you to be involved with, uh, with the Jack Jumpers organisation, being a DP player? We're very proud of you, by the way, as well, too, so well done on that. And to be involved with the championship must be huge for you. No, it was an incredible season. I worked my ass off to try and get there, and I, I'm glad I got to win the championship for my state. You certainly did. And just uh, we've been told that you're the captain of the, of the Chargers team as well, too. So how much pride and, and joy will you take in that role and try and lead this team? to uh, bigger and better things. No, I've been loving it. I took a lot of things from Clint Steindl and how he helped us at Jack Jumpers. I'm trying to really bring it to Hobart. Well, Jacob, commiserations on tonight, but let's bounce back next week. Thank you. <laughs>